Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. And today we're gonna to be looking at a plugin called Dynamics by Blue Cat Audio. This is an update video, so we're just gonna look at the new toys and features they've thrown into their plugin to make it a bit better. The first one is they have a new GUI. I mean, look at this thing, it's amazing. You can still slide things in and out just like you could before, but now it just looks really sleek and modern. I'm a big fan of this. Some people may not be. Let me know in the comments if you're a yay or nay on the GUI. I'm a huge yay, this is awesome. Along with the GUI update, they have also supported touchscreen. I don't usually work on a touchscreen, so it's not that big a deal to me, but it may be a big deal to you. And if you're a Mac user, they also now support retina display. So that's also good for you if you're a Mac user. Again, mostly Windows these days. Along with the GUI update and these other fantastic things is they've also given us the ability to lock the GUI. And at first you might be going, what do you mean lock the GUI? Why, why would we want to do that? Well, if we scroll through our presets, you see how it's going to move our display around according to the preset. And I don't know about you, but I'm, I don't always want that behavior. So they said, you know what? We don't want that either. So they added in a lock GUI button. So now that when we scroll through presets, our stuff stays in the same view, which is really nice. I like that. I'm a fan of it, so I usually have it on. And while we are talking about the interface, they've also given you the ability to zoom up to 200%, which is pretty nice so you can work with knobs as large as your eye if that's the thing you want to do. You can also shrink it, and if you need screen real estate a, a thing for you, this could be really handy dandy. I personally like the default size, but that's just me. So moving right along, we also have now the ability, this is a big one, to do mid side. So if we come on down here, we see we have stereo. Well, we can go ahead and select mid side. And now we have a mid channel and a side channel as opposed to a left and right channel. And that's just really great to have that automatically set up. You don't have to do any special routing or anything. It's just bam, there it is, you're doing mid side. And if you wanna do just mid, you just take away the side channel. If you wanna do just side, just take away the mid channel and away you go you're you're rolling we also have now a brick wall limiter that has been added with a look ahead and the look ahead has not just been added here it's also been added for the general dynamic section so we if we come over here to the advanced area we have a look ahead and we can set that up to 100 milliseconds and so now your plugin can see into the future and tell you what your audio will do. The sharpest transient, the sharpest sword, whatever you want to call it, it can compress it. It doesn't matter what it, how fast it is anymore. It can stop it in its tracks. So that's really nice to have a look ahead and a plugin. They've also added another feature that to me is a feature that I hope one day to see in most, if not all plugins. And that is a gain compensate knob or button. It would be a button. So if we come over here, we have compensate and we have a, a, it's attached. And so let's say, let's turn it off. You might be going, what's this compensate thing? I don't know, maybe you've never used it. Well, let's go to the default preset. Oh, and while we're in the preset menu, they now show you the last loaded presets you had. Really handy, pretty cool. Now if we hit default, there we go. And let's just do some pretty severe compression. Oh, whoops, I have compensate on. I'm like, it's not working. And so let's turn that off and we'll compress. And we see here, oh, we've, we've done some compression. So we would have to apply a bit of makeup gain in order to make it as loud as it was before. But this can make it hard to judge if what we did is something that we like, right? Because if it gets really soft, did we really want to do that? And so that can be a challenging thing. So we have a compensate knob so that while we're working, the adjustments will happen automatically. So if I bring the threshold down, we see that the adjustment upwards happens for us. It just happens to look like it's being slid over. But in reality, I'm moving the threshold down and it's just bringing the entire curve up. If I turn this off, we see there we go. And so that's the compensate knob. It'll work to keep it as consistent between before and after as possible. And that can really help you perceive better or, or judge better what you're doing. And that is pretty much all the updates. There's a couple more miscellaneous ones, but these are sort of the big ones that will impact your experience and also the new features that have been added. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates on our future videos when they come out and have a blessed day.